Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest edition of our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you are just joining us and never have seen anything like this before, that's okay. Join up and see what we got going on here. This is where we give you sort of a nice little weather magazine format of what's going on with the weather. In about the next five to ten minutes, we'll talk more about what's going on with the forecast as we go through the next several days and into the rest of the week. Possibility of thunder storms again not for tonight but in the next several days and also the possibility of seeing again maybe some severe weather coming our way we'll talk about that in just a little bit we are live on periscope and twitter right now as we're recording this as well for youtube google plus and going to be live on facebook later tonight if you're just joining us from twitter and periscope drop your location into the comments section and if you have any weather reports that thermometer outside the kitchen window let us know what the, t the conditions are around wherever you're at in the mid south or not just let us know where you are and what's going on where the weather is concerned questions ideas comments concerns email address down here website for more weather here forecast information down here for tonight and into tomorrow should be a great monday coming up with plenty of sunshine temperatures back into the lower to mid 70s a few stray showers later on tonight a few again areas of drizzle mainly and that's going to be about it currently looking at temperatures back into the mid upper 50s some beautiful numbers across the mid south for the early portion of the evening hours. Nothing to show really in the way of earthquakes across the Mid-South. We tend to keep a very close eye on the New Madrid Fault here, seeing as how it is just to the north of the News Channel 3 viewing area, but as of right now we're not seeing anything in the way of earthquakes within about the last 24 hours for the Mid-South. This area update, courtesy of the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis and also from the United States Geological Survey. You can reach University of Memphis CERI by going to memphis.edu slash CERI and go to earthquakes.usgs.gov for more information about what's going on in your location. Next three hours, plenty of clouds, some sunset hopefully out there. That'll be coming up here in about the next uh, hour and 20 minutes or so, somewhere in there for right now. I believe sunsets at 739 for this evening. And winds will continue breezy out of the northwest throughout the rest of the evening. So if you have any plans for outdoors into and around News Channel 3 at 10, skies will begin to clear, so we'll see some very nice conditions out there into around midnight. Fairly cool conditions tonight and especially into around the bus stop tomorrow morning. So if you've got any plans for getting the kids going early and getting them to the bus stop, I believe t uh, testing continues this week in some parts of the Mid-South area at school, so definitely want to make sure everybody gets a good night's sleep. And at the bus stop tomorrow morning, it's going to be decently brisk, so let's make certain everybody's bundled up and ready to go there. Let's go ahead and run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into around the next few hours. Much of what we are going to be seeing at this point is going to, again, be the possibility of scattered light showers taking place into around mainly western Tennessee and into northern parts of Mississippi. It's not huge, but it may warrant taking the umbrella along, and areas to the the west of the Mississippi River. Little, if anything, right there because of all that dry air sweeping on through and kind of eroding the cloud cover. Now, through News Channel 3 at 10, up until about midnight and overnight into around the time that Todd Demers is on the air, there will still be a decent amount of cloud cover over West Tennessee and into around northeastern Mississippi. So that, again, is going to be the main concern. The rainfall gone back on over to the east of us. So that'll be, again, the best possibility of any rainfall there. Clouds will stick around in some form or fashion as we get into late tomorrow morning, but any chance of rain, again, northeastern Alabama, way over there, as you can see on the right-hand side of your screen, toward about middle Tennessee, and that's going to be about it. As the sun comes out and the clouds clear away, temperatures will be warming up nicely right about the time the kids get out of school. Temperatures in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s or so. Beautiful conditions into around the rest of the afternoon and evening as we go into around the early afternoon and rush hour time frame. Heading toward tomorrow night, again, a bit of the cool side. News Channel 3 at 10 not doing too bad, but again not as cool as tonight is going to be. So if you've got kids heading out the door to the school bus, it's going to be in the 40s in some part. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything with them, getting them up and ready to go into tomorrow morning. So sunny, dry, mild, beautiful Monday coming up. Tuesday looks much the same. Plenty of sunshine out there, and that means the temperatures are going to be heading back upwards again into around the lower 80s. Now on Wednesday, this is where things start to get a little bit more interesting. The storm predictions 
Center is showing the possibility of some severe weather in the forecast for about Wednesday. Now we're still about three to four days out, so all we have is just uh, mainly the experimental forecasting models showing us the possibility of what we're seeing in the four to eight day range. As we get closer and closer to that, we'll bring things into focus a lot easier. So if you have outdoor plans for, again, late on Wednesday in the afternoon and evening, that's where we see the potential of some showers and thunderstorms of a severe nature. Some of those could linger into around Thursday morning very early and that also could cause some problems on the roadways early on Thursday morning. Next possibility of anything involving severe weather is going to be coming up late Friday into around early on Saturday or so. That's again another potential of severe weather. This system, the one coming up late this week, looks to be even more vigorous than the one that we're looking at here on Wednesday. So we see that potential out there for severe weather, but it looks like the one toward the end of the week could be even stronger than the midweek one. So we're going to have to watch both of these things carefully. Carefully. So if you have any plans for outdoors, go ahead and keep them, but keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and have, again, everything ready to go so you can get back indoors again as soon as possible. Remember, very important, if you can see lightning or hear thunder, you are within range of that storm of getting struck by that storm. That lightning can stretch out from a regular sized thunderstorm. It doesn't have to be a monster supercell or anything. Those storms, the lightning can stretch away from those things 20 to 30 miles. It's called a bolt from the blue. It, the potential is fairly low, but let's not risk it. Let's make certain everybody plays it safe. Uh, the lifeguards at the pool, when they blow the whistle and they get you out of the pool for 30 minutes while that storm goes on past and lets the lightning strike someplace else, they're not trying to annoy you. They're trying to keep you safe. So something to think about if you're going to be doing anything outdoors within the course of the next couple of days and into around the next several days into the rest of the week. That's where we're seeing again that potential for showers and thunderstorms into parts of the Mid-South area. Apologies for the screen freeze on uh, Twitter and Periscope. We are still live at this point, but unfortunately this computer is having some issues uh, transferring the graphics, so we may I think we're trying to catch up here. There we go. Okay, severe weather threat again for tonight on the maps is way on over to our east into around the Carolina, the east coast states, and into around, say, Georgia, and upwards to around north and south Carolina. We're just not seeing that much here. And likewise for Monday, not any risk close to the mid-south. But watch the area just right up here as we go into tomorrow and Tuesday especially, that's where we see the potential of severe weather. The Mid-South way over here down toward the south and the lower right hand corner of your screen, that's where we're seeing again the potential for severe weather moving into our area as we go past Tuesday and into Wednesday. So the threat for Tuesday will be south of Kansas City around Nevada, Missouri, down to around Muskogee and Oklahoma and to the Tulsa area, maybe even around Fayetteville, Arkansas, Joplin, Missouri, Chanute and Pittsburgh, Kansas be seeing some problems but for the mid-south nothing really major taking place immediately but signs of things to come so keep it tuned to news channel 3 for updates on that heading into tomorrow getting the kids on the school bus temperatures again will be brisk in the morning through about the lower 50s and getting into around the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the rest of the day and very pleasant conditions out there a little breezy at times not bad but hopefully not going to need too much of a jacket during the afternoon hours as those temperatures will ramp up quite nicely into around the mid 70s or so keep it tuned to news channel 3 for the latest forecast update my compadre in weather Todd Demers will have more coming up on daybreak tomorrow morning. You can catch the remnant of the forecast for later on tonight uh, on the Talkback Live into tomorrow. If you've got any questions about sports, AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, and of course I'll be on the EAB Network late tonight as well with your forecast on sport um, on. Uh, Oldies 102.3 and back in country 92.5. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything you would like to see on here where it comes to weather, please let me know. Email address right down here at the bottom of your screen down at austin.onic at wreg.com. We would love to know what you would like to see on here, whether it's international weather, more local climate data, whatever it is, let us know at the weather experts and we'll be glad to try to accommodate you on this and we'll keep you updated throughout the rest of the week again at this website right there. And 
of course, on all of those social media networks as well. Should be a beautiful start to the week, the finish of the week. Well, that could be a little different, so we're going to be watching that with a lot of interest. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 again throughout the week for all the details. We'll be on tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 with a complete update. And, of course, Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early on Monday morning, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your forecast for the early portion of next week. And stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 on air and online as we go throughout the next several days. Thanks for joining us tonight.